This video is brought to you by Canva. I think I, I was passionate about losers. That was maybe the political. That people that were taken advantage of, that really couldn't make it, that would never make it. Those people I, was, I felt passionate about. Welcome to the second episode of How to Take Photos Like. Last week we learned how to take photos like Vivian Meyer and we tried to replicate her style. And if you haven't seen that, check it out here. In today's episode, I'm gonna break down how Robert Frank took his photos and we're gonna try to replicate his style. Robert Frank, as a Swiss, photographed the Americans. I'm here in Coyacan, where Frida Kahlo used to be, and this is her museum. We're not gonna go in there, and there's always a huge line, but here we can capture what I think is quintessential Mexico. And if there's any photographer that you wish me to cover in a video, just let me know in the comments and then upvote the ones that you like. The America Robert Frank saw was funny and sad, dimly lighted, and often lonely. His friend, the writer Jack Kerouac, wrote about him, with that nice little camera he raises and snaps with one hand, he sucked a sad poem right out of America onto film. That little old lonely elevator girl looking up sighing in an elevator full of blurred demons. What's her name and address? After seeing those pictures, wrote Kerouac, you end up finally not knowing anymore whether a jukebox is sadder than a coffin. So when I think Mexico, I think a lot about the tacos, the salsa, the dancing, the but also Mexico is the best, <laughs> but also a struggle in some part of the population and how polarized it is between rich and poor. So today I want to focus on these things. I want to photograph on their love for their country, their food and their story. What am I missing? <laughs> the cult, I will call it. We're very proud of our cult. Yeah, and your history. And you're very proud in general. In general. Yeah. I will see if I can find that for you in the photos I will okay. take. Robert Frank was a pioneer in street photography and documentary photography. And as you hear Wesley saying right here. If you look at so much photography of today, it really comes directly from the Americans by Robert Frank. And what's really cool is that Robert Frank is a Swiss, you know, so he was a foreigner traveling in a country, which means he had a different uh, viewpoint, different eye for like what was important in terms of what he would take photos of. And that video is from my YouTube channel where Wesley's talking about the great photography books of our times. I will link it up here so you can check it out if you haven't. Right now there's still Corona times here in Mexico City, which is why, as you see here, everything is locked in and closed out. There's still a lot of people around, so we can still get the photos, but it's a little bit different vibe and everyone is wearing their mask, but that's how it is. And we need to work with what we have. Pardon, amigo. Puedo tomar tu foto? Con, uh, con tu mano, aquí. Uh -huh. Si, si, si. Listo. Gracias, amigo. Buen día. And by the way, I've put a link to The Americans by Robert Frank in the description. If you need one street photography book, it's that one, because like Wesley said, it's the one that paved the way for so many street photographers coming after him. Pardon? Puedo tomar una foto de todo? No? Okay. <laughs> I wasn't fast enough for that one. <laughs> the majority of Robert Frank's photos, they were shot on black and white film. I don't even know if he shot color. So we're gonna, today we're gonna shoot with the Roliflex again and I'll keep shooting a lot with this. And then I have some Kodak tracks and some Ilford HP5, both black and white rolls and we will see what we can do with it. How I see Mexico today is very different from how I saw it when I just arrived in Mexico, I think four years ago from now. 
like when you just arrive to a new place, you see everything with fresh eyes, you see the first taco stand and you're obsessed about it. And now I walk past a lot of the things that when Robert Frank took his photos, he stopped up and he photographed. So looking back, I have more photos that are probably more Mexican with fresh eyes. So now I need to like go back to how I saw things before and see if I can capture that. I would like her to reach out for some of the things that are here, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But I don't put them on the photo here. Is that bien? Gracias. The reason why I picked Coyacan for this trip is because it has a little bit of everything. It has like, it's kind of safe here. It has the tourism, but it also has the locals. And actually right here in number 35 is where me and my family stayed over Christmas, where all of us stayed here. So if you ever go to Mexico, this is not a bad place to stay. It's difficult, this thing. And like having another photographer's photos in mind while you go out, I need to like adjust myself, but that's why we're here. <laughs> And also with this corona thing happening where everyone is wearing masks and everything is closed, makes it a little more difficult. And I will try to minimize all my excuses starting from now on. <laughs> we need this bus away. Another thing that is super Mexican, in my point of view, is the generations. So in Mexico, you see a lot like a closer family between the granddaughter to the mother to the grandmother. And every Sunday, a lot of people, they go with their families to eat food and gather around a meal. So if we can focus on a little bit about generations, that would be great too. I wonder if we can go in the church. Like a lot of people in Mexico are religious and maybe we can do something in there. Pardon? Pardon? Yo prefiero gente de México. Puedo tomar una foto con ti y tu hijo. Sí, sí, sí. Perfecto, muchas gracias. Rolflex. Sí, exactamente. Sí, 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 es nuevo para mí. Es nuevo para mí. Sí, 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 yo tengo 10 días con eso. Ah, muy bien. ¿De dónde son ustedes? De Dinamarca. De Dinamarca. Ajá. Y yo fui a la gente de México aquí en Ciudad de México. Ajá. Y eh, en este video, nuestro foco es eh, cosas de mexicanos: comida, Sabores, ajá. costumbres, sí, sí, sí. tradición. Exacto. Esta es mi oficina. Oh, esa es tu oficina, Coyacán es tu oficina. ¿Qué es tu trabajo? Yo soy escritor. ¿Escritor? Soy poeta. Ah, ¿en serio? ¿Y cómo se llama Petro? Petro Schneider. Mucho gusto, Petro. Es difícil, no creo que tengamos suficiente light en there. I went to like 2.8 F, which is as wide and fast as it goes but let's see one thing i would like to address is this that is very relevant right now it's when you take photos of people who are obviously less fortunate or less, less privileged than yourself and i'm well aware that when i go around and i do street photography in mexico city a lot of the people who i photograph will clearly be less privileged than i am and when you look at robert frank's photos he photographed a lot of different people, but a lot of the times he was pho photographing down, you could say, like photographing people who are less privileged. It's okay to do as long as you do it the right way and as long as you have good intentions. And I think when I walk around and I do photographs here, like my Mexican friends, they are still supporting my photos. Like they think it comes from a good place. But I think when you take photos like that of people who you are clearly more privileged than, then you need to be sensible and you need to understand where they come from and you need to do it in a way that is with compassion instead of exploitation. And I think Robert Frank did that as well. I think it comes from this place of documentary and curiosity more than anything. But based on so many of you guys who are Mexican who watch my channel and comment on my photos, I think the majority of you guys are supporting it, which is great and which feels like I'm on the right track in terms of that situation. Mm -hmm. 
<risa> Gracias. Yeah, exactamente. <risa> con, con todo, por favor, con todo, por favor. Buen día. <risa> Gracias. I think for some reason I messed up my shutter. I just looked at my camera and I think it was one sixtieth of a second or one thirtieth of a second actually. I don't know. I think it happened in the church where I was just fiddling around a little bit too much. But you guys have seen the photos, so maybe they're very, very shaky. That's how it is. I'm back to 125th of a second now. So the guys over at Canva watched my first episode called How to Take Photos Like Vivian Meyer. They liked what I was doing and they wanted to support the channel, which I appreciate a lot. Let's say I would like to promote the prints that I have in my print shop, which I would like to. Then I opened the Canva app and then I browsed through the Instagram story category to find a nice template for Instagram stories. Like this one you see here, this will do. Then I pick four photographs that I like from my print shop and then I'll customize it, write a little copy to make it look nice. And then I export it to Instagram stories and that's it. There's a lot more ways to use Canva, but this is just one example. And I put a link to a 45 days free pro trial in the description below. Vivian Photo. <laughs> It's always good when you see like young kids with a real camera and not their phone out, so we need to support them. Listo. Muchas gracias. Buen día. Well, but Frank's photos are difficult. Like when you look at his photos, like you see here, a lot of them are from afar. They are of a group. And they are candid photos where he not necessarily asks for the photos. There are portraits here and there where he has clearly gotten permission, but it's tricky. Hola. Sigo tu canal. Sí. Sí. ¿Puedes hacer una foto? Sí, claro que sí. Fotógrafos también. Sí, un poco. Muchas gracias, chicos. How he photographed is very different from how I take pictures, and he's a lot more like a fly on the wall, and uh, like he interacts a lot less with the subject. But what he actually does is that he photographed the normal people before anyone else did. Like before photography was reserved for the people who were rich, famous or obscure or did something completely different. And it was really expensive photography. It still is today though. What he did is he captured the Americans from a Swiss point of view. And that's what I really want to focus in this, in this video. I want to photograph the Mexicans from my point of view. Another thing that is so Mexican is all their cool markets and that was one of the most exciting things when I just got to Mexico is to go to every market there is in Mexico and check them out. So let's see, let's see. Hola chicos. When I first bought this camera, I was very uh, careful with the photos I took because it's only 12 exposures. But now I think I get my photos per minute a lot up, which is nice. ¿Qué buscaba? Uh, yo por aquí, el gente de México. Ah. Quiero...
when I'm doing these photo walks, it's so easy to get caught up in just going back to what you usually do and go by instinct, which is something I always do. So I need to keep reminding myself, like Robert Frank, what would he do? But that's also why we're here. We're here to get out of our comfort zone and learn from the greats. And then maybe we can take some of what we learn and put into our own way of photographing people or whatever we like to photograph. One critic called it a wart covered picture of America. Another said his photographs constituted a slashing and biting attack on American institutions. It was just a travelogue, you know, and it happened to be a little bit different kind of a travelogue. That was my interpretation of how to take photos like Robert Frank. It's very different from the photos that he took and he has paid the wave and he's a pioneer for so many other photographers. For the next episode of how to take photos like, let me know which photographer you would like to see and then we will upvote the ones that we like and we can pick the next photographer to spotlight. I hope you guys enjoyed this.